Hello. Okay. Sorry for being 10 minutes late, uh, guys. I'm Greg Hagland from Switch Nutrition. I'll just get comfortable here. Um, and today, uh, let me get that to stand up. Okay. And today we are going to talk here. We are going to be talking about supplements, nutrition, training, pretty much anything you guys want to talk about. Uh, I'm going to try and bring Miriam in here as well. Um, so hopefully we will have her very soon. Um, and while we're waiting for Miriam to come in, uh, anyone else that is out there watching this live video in her little challenge group, um, feel free to ask any questions. And um, before... We get going. So just a little bit of a background perhaps on myself. Um, so as I mentioned, I'm Greg Hagelin from Switch Nutrition. I created Switch Nutrition because I feel like there was a gap in the market uh, where people were pre uh, promoting and creating supplements that were going to help in the sense of sports performance, but didn't take into consideration health and wellness. So Switch Nutrition is fundamentally uh, about helping improve people's health, wellness, and performance, the whole lot, all in one. Actually, we've got Miriam here. Uh, we're going to add Miriam in, bring Miriam on camera. Yes. Uh, let's. We've just got Miriam coming into this live video, slowly adding. Um, and once we get her side by side here, we'll be able to do a bit of a Q&A. So let's see what's going on here with Miriam. Uh, and can't bring Miriam on camera. Right, let's just try that again. Let's see if that works. Nope. Try one more time here. Hmm, having some difficulty, some technical difficulties bringing Miriam. Uh, oh, her internet is so slow. So you might be having me run. Oh, no, wait. We'll give this one more go. Uh, approve. Uh, it says it's adding Miriam, but it's like Miriam must have dial-up is what's going on here. Mm. Um, <laughs> yay! Difficulty, difficulty. Where the hell are you? What, what's going uh, on here? Oh, Hang on a second. All right. I've just had to shuffle around. I can't use my computer. I have to use my phone. So there we go. Yeah, well, that's what I'm doing. I'm using my phone. So can you hear me okay? I can. I just need to get rid of you off my computer screen because I've got you, like, doing weird things and it's Yeah, don't do, don't do that. I've got my laptop down here. Don't even look at it. Just look at the screen on your phone. Yeah. I'm all good now. Right here. <laughs> okay. Brilliant. All right. So um, hopefully we've, we'll get a few of your gang together on here. Um, yep. And if not, we'll post this up at the end anyway, Mim, and we'll, uh, it'll be there for everybody to, to have a look at and uh, dissect and digest and understand. Uh, I was just telling them a little bit about my background and why I created Switch Nutrition. Um, I, I guess I should sort of uh, evolve from that into how we came to, to know each other. Um, and it was sort of around the keto space uh, because there was a, a product on the market called Prove It Keto OS. Um, and I think you'd been using that and recommending it and other people have been trying to sort of on sell it as a multi-level marketed product, uh, which is, was a great, great product. Um, you know, the, the Prove It Keto OS sort of started the ball rolling on exogenous ketones. Um, and then you stumbled across uh, Keto Switch, which I guess we'd gone a little bit further in terms of developing not only an exogenous supplement, but also one that would help support endogenous ketone production, which we'll go into a little bit later on. Um, and your love of keto, ketogenic dieting, um, low carb, intermittent fasting, just yeah. it, it, it sort of um, meshed really well with my beliefs and, and philosophies on health and wellness and um, you know, lowering inflammation and improving insulin sensitivity and um, you know, trying to help people with uh, this ever-growing epidemic of diabetes and overweight issues and, and all of that. So that's kind yeah. of how we got to know each other. That's, um, I guess, the space in which we both 
coexist and, and work together to try and help people get the best results through nutrition, training, supplementation, and, and Switch has become a part of that for you and your gang. It has. It's been great. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you know, obviously I've been lucky enough to, to only know you for a short period of time and sit at home jealous as anything as you uh, travel around Australia and to some exotic locations <laughs> with your camper van, uh, yeah. which, is, which has been a journey and a half. So, look, um, I guess uh, what, we haven't got any questions coming up right now. So let's just run through a couple of things in the range. Um, and, and, Miriam, you can add anything you like at any time if you think there's something that I haven't really explained that well. Or, or I've perhaps, seen I, quite a few of your live videos, and I'm quite happy just to sit back and, and listen. You are just amazing. <laughs> I, I just absorb everything that you say. It's just, yeah, well, fantastic. well, I can uh, overcomplicate things. So if I do, uh, <laughs> and, and you know, you feel like there's a simpler way of explaining this to, like... to you, yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> seven four seven. Um, so yeah, if, if you feel like there's a bit of an easier explanation, let me know. But uh, let's sort of start with the exogenous ketones and um, you know why we would use them. What is the advantages? Uh, I think you might be sipping on some right now, um, <laughs> but. Uh, Look, we were both this morning when we were communicating having ketones and, and uh, we tend to do that around training because uh, and in the morning to help with fasting. So one of the benefits of uh, exogenous ketones, well, let's first of all dial it back. Ketones, what are they? What are the benefits? Um, so ketones are produced in our body, which is considered endogenously or within the body um, from fatty acids. So when your body breaks down fats, it breaks them down into these compounds called ketones or otherwise known as ketone bodies. And then ketones are a substrate of energy that can be used by the muscle tissue, the heart, the brain, specifically those three areas love ketones. So we see an improvement in performance mentally, physically, and also uh, cardiovascularly. Um, so those are the three key areas where there's a lot of research going on. Uh, ketones or a ketogenic diet was sort of used therapeutically in the 20s by um, non, well, for non-drug responsive um, pediatric epilepsy. So young children that weren't resp responding to drugs were used, uh, put on a ketone diet and they were then uh, they saw some profound improvements in their uh, reductions of epilepsy because epilepsy is not a, a muscle disorder. It's a brain disorder um, and the brain isn't firing properly towards the muscle and we're getting this sort of uh, misfire. So anything related to the brain um, is going to see improvements with the, the ben well, with the production of endogenous ketones from your own fat stores or exogenous ketones from a supplement like Keto Switch. So, that's the first reason I created the formula. I created it because I wanted to see improvements in my own brain function. I wanted to see a you know, reduction in brain fog and improvement in cognitive power and, and learning ability, short-term to long-term memory recall. But in above this, we're now seeing people with dementia, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, um, ADHD, autism spectrum, post-traumatic stress disorder, um, postpartum depression, mood and anxiety issues that are using ketones to improve their brain power, the way they feel, their mood enhancement. And, and it's just an absolute goosebump moment for me when I get people sending me messages saying, these ketones, I feel amazing. So, you know, I know that you've noticed the benefits in that area, Miriam, but you also use it for um, fasting because of the appetite yeah. um, controlling benefits. Uh, yep. You use it before exercise for the performance benefits. So maybe you yep. could tell us a little bit about um, you know, your supplement strategy and how you use ketones. Yeah, okay. Um, well, when I first started the whole um, switch nutrition journey, I guess you remember very clearly I was emailing you quite a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yep. um, how do I take this? This is what I do. When should I use this? And the way that you've just explained it um, was really helpful for me. So when I did certain types of exercises, you recommended certain types of things and, you know, the ketones for fasting. And there was just so it's like multi-purpose for all the different products there. So it's not just take the keto and the thermal in the morning and the amino during the day and the adrenal at night. I found, um, you know, a multi-purpose for all of them so i think that the best thing to do is to figure out what your needs are and then ask what yeah. the best option is because i don't think there's just one size fits all when it comes to to switch nutrition i think it's um it can be quite personalized 
hundred percent. And it is interchangeable. Like I often get, I mean, we've written a AM and PM plan, uh, which if you train in the morning, you follow this AM plan. If you train at night, you follow a PM plan. Uh, and that's cool. And, and that's then if you meet, you just message you and go, I train all, all the I time. Know. What do I do? <laughs> exactly. Uh, no one trains as much as, as Miriam trains, by the way. Uh, it, it, it's, it's ungodly. The amount yeah. of training you do is mental. But um, you know, we've got the supplement support there. We've got the nutritional support. You know, you're very structured and very planned. Um, you don't leave anything to chance, and I love that about you. Um, so, you know, from a supplement perspective, uh, a lot of your clients could learn a lot by monkey see, monkey do. Um, and, and, you know, that, that's a real credit to you. I mean, you know, not a lot of people out there giving advice follow their own advice. And, and you know, it's like they say a builder's house is the worst in their street. But with you, that's not the case. You know, you, you live and breathe it. Um, you, know, you really are a, a, a great motivator um, and someone that I'm sure a lot of your clients will aspire to, to be like and could follow suit with. Um, so, you know, let's touch on that uh, keto for fasting. So there's a big reason why Miriam and myself use, I fasted today, but woke up at five o'clock and didn't eat till just after 12.30. Um, well, food that is, I use supplements through that period. And um, why, why we do that is that there's a lot of evidence, growing evidence weekly, you know, showing that it improves um, you know, markers of aging. In fact, it can be anti-aging, improves insulin sensitivity, reduces body fat, uh, improves lean muscle and growth hormone um, and hormone balance in general. So there's a lot of health benefits. There's a lot of physical benefits to be had yeah. from doing fasting. Uh, but it's like anything, Miriam, you can, you know, too much, can, can, there's a bell-shaped yeah. curve. Um, yeah. You know, not enough won't work. You know, this is what I, what I call the Goldilocks principle, uh, where, you know, it's too cold, it's, it's too hot, and then it's just right. So, you know, not enough is not going to produce a result too much is going to produce a poor result and then there's a sweet spot. So for me, yeah. I've found three or four days a week fasting is good. Um, mm. Anything over and above that, uh, I find that I actually it becomes counterproductive and I can lose muscle mass. Um, yeah. So uh, even with the use of supplements like Amino Switch to try and maintain lean muscle, uh, I just feel like the calorie restriction, when you're fasting, it's generally in the morning for most people. Uh, it doesn't have to be. Um, you can, you know, fast from 2 p.m. in the afternoon through till 5 a.m. or something like that um, and have your first meal earlier. But for me, I find that that, uh, you know, that morning period, I can fast through that and have my last meal, at, well, which will be dinner tonight around 7 p.m. Um, so that works for me. You've just got to find what works for you. And again, if you need a guide on this, we have a, an intermittent, what I call an intermittent feasting guide rather I love than fasting. That. Yeah, we, we, we kind of uh, did that. Miriam and I talked about this after we did it. Uh, it was to try and focus on the food, the eating part, which is the fun part, rather than the not eating part, which is yeah. not so much fun. <laughs> um, so Intermittent Feasting Guide uh, is available on our website at switchnutrition.com.au. You can download that for free, and it will guide you through how to structure your fast or your feast periods around your work life you know, training balance. Um, so yeah. that's kind of cool. But I guess the point that I'm trying to make here is that fasting is awesome. It does work. Yeah. Uh, it simplifies your life because like for me personally, um, if I don't have to have breakfast in my mid morning snack, well, that's two meals that I don't have to prepare. Uh, oh, two, yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and save like, you know, I'd probably save 15 to $20 on those two meals alone. And, you know, people say, oh, do I have to get them back, you know, because I'm trying to hit this certain calorie amount. No, you know, listen to your body. If you're hungry later in the day, eat more. You've got the window now. You've got this, you know, window feeding time of eight hours that you're allowed to eat, you know, essentially what you want within reason. If it's healthier food, then it's going to be better for you. But, you know, if you feel like a couple of squares of dark chocolate later in the evening or throughout that period, you now have the flexibility to fit that in. Um, and it's yeah. not going to ruin everything. Whereas you have that on top of your five or six meals a day, um, yeah. it's going to be a lot harder to fit that in. So one, it gives you flexibility in your um, nutrition in terms of uh, you know living a normal life um, and and having you know not the discipline that everybody like Miriam might have or or some other people might have. You know you can you can have a lap, that little bit of a, a lapse in judgment, to, so to speak. But the other thing, it's just it speeds up the morning process for me. I get straight into work and I get shit done yeah. um, and, and I save money. And, you know, 
But to get through it, I'm not going to lie to you, to get through it, I need Keto Switch to do it. I've tried a couple of times without it. And Keto Switch has a fundamental ability to, to lower the release of ghrelin. Now, ghrelin is this hormone released by the gut that tells your body you're hungry. So when, you're hung, when your belly's gurgling and you're, and you're getting these hunger pains going through a fast, that's actually your body's safety mechanism saying, give me some damn food because this is not a good situation to be in but it doesn't realize that there's some really good health benefits to, and weight loss benefits to come. So if we can get through that, that little bit of pain, we are going to see some gains uh, in lean muscle and some losses in body fat. And to do that, I've found Keto Switch you know, profoundly effective for controlling my appetite and at the same time boosting my metabolic rate. So I get this, this gap. So calories in, calories out. Now the calories coming in are lower because I don't eat it during that period and my you know, keto switch sustains that fast and the calories going out are higher because it raises my resting metabolic rate. It raises the rate at which I burn fat for fuel doing no exercise. Sitting on my ass, I'm burning more fat. Um, and keto Yay! switch, fun yeah, exactly. You know, keto switch does that through improving mitochondrial flexibility and, and improving mitochondrial biogenesis. Now, what does that mean? So to dial that back and unpeel that, the mitochondria are these little engines inside your muscle tissue, which are like the engine of your car. So the car uses petrol for fuel. These engines use fat for fuel. So these mitochondria, and there's thousands of them inside your muscle tissue, they're using fat for fuel. So if you have more of these engines, so you say you've got a fleet of cars now, well, you're going to go through a shitload more fuel. So that's the whole purpose here. What the ketones do is they signal the body to create new engines, more engines, more fuel. What fuel are those engines using? Fat. So it's that simple. Um, so Keto Switch fundamentally lowers your appetite and controls it, and at the same time boosts your metabolic rate so you're burning more fat for fuel. I mean, it couldn't be a better solution. Yes. Yeah, Got anything to add to that, Marion? Oh, just just use it and, and experience <laughs> yeah. it for yourself. Like, really, I, you can't. I mean, you can you can talk until you're blue in the face, but until someone actually tries it, I don't think they can understand. I get that feedback quite often. I didn't yeah. expect it to be as good as it is. And honestly, yeah. I mean, I knew it was going to be good before I tried it, but when I did. I tell you, I'm the same as, as my clients now. When you get to that little bit in the bottom and you look over there and go, oh, I haven't got another one, you start to get a bit concerned because you know that you just don't feel right unless you've had it. I've gone to my classes before. I think I did it once in, De once <laughs> in December and I was at Zumba and everyone was there and everyone was happy and I'm normally all happy and in a great mood and I was just like, I really don't want to be here this morning. I didn't have yeah. breakfast because I don't, don't usually eat breakfast. there sorry yep. someone oh, that's right. me. <laughs> um, oh yeah yeah just, it happens to me too <laughs> <laughs> i didn't feel feel right and i didn't understand why i was so cranky i'm like is it that time of the month like what's my problem and it wasn't until i was part way through the warm-up i was like oh i forgot my i call it my big drink because <laughs> i yes. have my keto my thermal i have my apple cider vinegar my lemon juice I, you know, my bike, my greens, I have everything all in one big drink. And I didn't have it that morning. And I tell you, the difference without having that, it's just incredible. It like really is. Day. Yeah. yeah. And, and, you know, I've, I've got to agree. I mean, look, to be honest, I, I created um, Keto Switch for the, the benefits of brain function. I created it for the benefits of lowering inflammation. Uh, and we've had some amazing results with MS sufferers, with diabetic, di diabetics. Um, and those are really heartwarming stories to hear back. But every single day I get messages from, from people, random people I've never met in my life that send me a message and say, oh, I just cannot live without the keto switch. The, you know, the boost in energy that I get, the control yeah. I have over my you know, eating habits now, uh, it's just like you know, something I've never had before. So you know, that's where the keto switch fits in. Um, and then leading on from that, we, we also created a thermal switch, which we've just upgraded. Um, and the new version, now this is kick-ass. Like, this is some cool shit that we're about to talk about. So, so excited. Um, yeah, look, the original thermal switch I loved, but the original thermal switch was working off a stimulant called DMHA. Uh, and a DMHA is a very, very powerful energy stimulant, which is cool because people like that sort of kick and feel. But at the same time, it, it's vasoconstrictive. Uh, so it's basically, you know, closing up the blood vessels and increasing blood pressure, which uh, is counterproductive to what you want 
when you're exercising. Um, and it's also a little bit anxiolytic. So it actually increases anxiety. Um, so we wanted something that would, a stimulant that would give us the energy, the alertness, the focus, the drive, the determination, the motivation, all those good things to get shit done. And that's what Thermal Switch always had. But we wanted to be able to create that in a healthier environment. So we've now been able to do that with a new compound called um, dynamine. Now, dynamine comes from kutcha tea or cooking extract. Uh, it's a methyl liberine and it has vasodilating effects. So not only does it increase that focus, alertness, you know, all of those other good things we just discussed, but it's also going to improve blood flow to your muscle tissue. So more blood, more, more oxygen, more nutrients. You're going to get greater performance, greater recovery. Uh, I mean, this stuff is amazing. But one of the coolest parts about it is it's more dopaminergic. So you've got these different neurotransmitters in the brain, one of them being dopamine. Now, dopamine is the reward, happy, uh, you know, sense of achievement, uh, motivation, you know, kind of uh, neurotransmitter. So you're going to get that in spades. So when you have thermal switch, you just want to run around the gym and high five everybody. It, oh, it's yeah. amazing. People so, think you know, a little bit crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And and the the original had a, had an element of that because we balanced out that dopamine and epinephrine really well. And I've talked to Miriam about this before, but it's even easier to achieve that feeling with this new dynamine. So the new thermal switch is 100% natural, no artificial colors, flavors, preservatives, or sweeteners. We've gone to stevia now, which is kick ass. So we're really trying to align the branding um, and the ethos of, of Switch Nutrition about helping you, not harming you, about giving you everything you need and nothing you don't. So, you know, that was really important for me. Uh, a lot of people said to me, oh, I don't care with a fat burner and pre-workout. doesn't matter. I just want it to taste good and I don't, want, you know, I don't care if it's natural or not. I care. I care because it matters to me. I won't use it if it's not. Um, and the next that was one of our first conversations, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was. You were yeah, like, 100%. oh, I'm not too sure about these two because they had the, the different sweetener in there, but you were working on a formula. Yeah, that's right. We were. And that was the two that we sort of you know, went, oh, do we put them in? Because you, you really had the same values I have, which is let's go natural. Um, and, you know, even with the aminos, so the amino switch is a terrific product. We don't have any artificial colors, flavors or preservatives, but we still use sucralose. And it's the, it's the best of the bad bunch in terms of artificial sweeteners. Um, so, you know, certainly amino switch is a lot better than any other amino acid supplement out there. But uh, it's always bugged me that it's not natural, so entirely natural with the stevia. So we've been working incredibly hard, first of all, to relaunch power switch and thermal switch natural. And now within three to four weeks, we'll have out um, the existing flavors of amino switch, 100% natural. We'll That's also awesome. be launching, and you heard this here first, I haven't told anyone else this, we're going to be launching a pineapple mint. Uh, we're going to be launching a watermelon and a green apple in that 100% natural. In amino. In the, in amino. An amino. Yeah, oh, so. let me just explain why that's such an exciting thing. Um, with the key, uh, for me anyway, with the keto and the thermal, I mix them together in my big drink and guzzle it all. I literally skull 800 mils of water, like straight down in the morning. But the amino, I feel like my two big, um, you know, those water bottles that stay cold all day. I feel yeah. like my two big ones Insulated. are those and the, the amino goes in there. And that's what I drink all day. So you right. introducing these new flavors is very exciting for me because that's what I taste all day. When I work out, when I'm sitting at my computer, whatever I'm doing, I'm sipping on whatever new flavors are coming my way. I'm excited. Well, wait for it. Pineapple, mint, watermelon, and green apple. Really refreshing uh, and 100% natural. So you, look, let's talk then. That's a good segue. Uh, why the hell would Miriam drink amino acids all day? So there's a very good reason it for that. Because it tastes so good. <laughs> it does. And it's a great replacement for diet drinks and soft drinks and things like that. Um, because water. it's actually, well, that's right. It, it, it gives up? you the electrolytes. So what we've done with amino switch is we've created a formula which um, has a very high biological value. In fact, five, one serving of this amino acid formula is five grams, but it's equivalent to 35 grams of whey protein or 80 grams of steak or chicken or fish. So you're getting a, a supplement that's so, so concentrated that it can give you a very high yield of muscle recovery and repair, but without a high yield of calories to boot. So it gives you, again, the flexibility of someone that's trying to stay lean, get muscles, exactly <laughs> just like that. 
and uh, and not put on body fat. So, um, you know, there's a huge amount of advantages on, on sipping that through the day, throughout a workout or immediately after your workout. So me personally, um, I'm lactose and dairy intolerant. I don't do well with whey protein shakes, even the isolates on the market. So I wanted to move away from that space. I wanted something that would be rapidly absorbed that didn't require digestion and I could drink it during and after my workout. And even whey protein isolate, which is traditionally a rapidly absorbed or digested protein, it still needs to be digested. So mm. if you think about the physiology of post-workout where you've just done a huge workout, all the blood's pumping to your muscles you know, that you've just been training, the, the blood isn't around your gut. So it's not in a position, and your gut is a muscle. It needs blood flow to do its job too. So if its job is to digest whey protein isolate into amino acids, um, then it's not going to do it properly after a workout. Um, so having amino switch gives you free form amino acids, which is exactly what your body will make from protein, um, but it's done for you. So you don't have to muck around worrying about whether you're going to digest it or not, whether it's going to absorb or not. It is 100%, well, 99%. So you're going to get that much of it into the muscle tissue that it's going to make up for the, the lack of digestion of, of whey protein or, or whole food protein. So a lot of people say to me, you know, do I even need a protein supplement if I'm eating a lot of protein from my food? Uh, in general, throughout the day and through your normal diet, no. But around training, yes, because food just doesn't digest quick enough. So we want to get it back into the system quickly, and Amino Switch does that. Is it necessary for, for Miriam to drink Amino Switch all day, every day? No, it's not. But <laughs> it, it, it is replacing perhaps, it's encouraging her, one, to drink more fluid. Uh, two, the Shizandra in there is going to help her liver detox better. It's going to improve blood flow. It's going to lower stress and cortisol, which there's an abundance of when you run and own your own little business. Plus, you're also exercising like a, a, an absolute you know, weapon. Um, there's going to be you know, physical stress, which is going to increase cortisol, emotional, yeah. psychological stress. You know, All of these things are, are increasing cortisol. And the Shizandra, which is in the amino switch, will help to dampen that. Not yeah. as much as ashwagandha, which is in our adrenal switch, which we'll talk about in a minute. But uh, it's certainly going to be able to mitigate some of those uh, physiological and psychological yeah, just, stresses just coming on from that i do see a naturopath um every six to eight weeks and i actually do have liver problems um i've got gilbert's syndrome and i've got like heart problems as well i've got an irregular heartbeat and palpitations and arrhythmia and my adrenals are not the best and as soon as i started taking switch i think it was within a week or two i had an appointment and uh, my liver function had normalized. She couldn't even tell. Like, it was borderline dangerous before it had normalized. My heart had stabilized. I started taking CoQ10 as well, but with awesome. this. And my adrenal function, it's still not where it should be, but it's way better than it was. So actually knowing and having it on paper there um, was just incredible. And she, she was trying to... Um, figure out what it was and I'm like I'm telling you what it was and I was pulling it up on the on the Dropbox where we have all the ingredients of all the products and I'm like this is what's in it and she's like oh so it, it made a very real real difference to my health um, yeah it, it's, it's been incredible um, look at, look at, a question down there yeah about electrolytes and amino acids yep I'll, I'll touch on that um, but before yeah. we get to, to, to Steve's question um, you know, just to finish off what you're saying there, Miriam, I mean, look, we get so many naturopaths that, that see the Switch Nutrition range and they actually get behind a sports nutrition range for the first time. And most of the time, they're, they're hesitant to endorse or, or um, you know, recommend a sports nutrition range because it's very rare that, that they t tick all the boxes that naturopaths like, which is yeah. natural, you know, first do no harm, um, and it might help. Um, and that's what we're working on is, is products that will help and that won't hurt. Um, and, you know, I think they really love that. So it's great to see, yeah. you know, very real world results there in yeah. terms of, you know, the Shizandra and the Ashwagandha doing their job, the magnesium yeah. of the adrenal switch helping a lot. I mean, look, you know, to be honest, lifestyle changes need to take place for you in order to get your adrenals really where they need to be. Um, you're running around like a blue ass fly all day, every day. <laughs> And it is impossible for just one oh, or two no. supplements to, you know, we're, we're band-aiding it. But at the same time, we are definitely making a, a difference and improvement. That's where I don't practice what I preach. I tell I everyone, know, do neither. not over-exercise. But see, having said that, I've changed now. I used to do intense exercise like burpees and jumping squats and jumping lunges and bounding down. I used to do maybe four classes of that a day. I don't yep. do any of that type of exercise 
anymore. I do a lot more gentle type exercise and Pilates and yoga, and I teach Zumba to my, um, you know, my golden oldies. So yeah, it's cool. not as high impact. I do <laughs> two high impact classes a week and one weight session, and then whatever I do down at Trav's gym. But no crazy stuff anymore because it's just not. It's it's um it goes against what you want to achieve. It does increase the the cortisol there, and it promotes and weight gain anyway. So yeah, all the yeah, yeah. just yeah. Yeah, no, 100%. Um, so Steve has asked, can you overdo it with amino acids and or electrolytes? Uh, yeah, of course. I mean, you know, you can overdo it with water. Um, so, you know, the, the reality is that you've got to look at, uh, I guess, what the goal is. Is it recovery? Um, is it, you know, muscle gain? Is it fat loss? Um, and you'll be guided by the amount of amino acids and, and protein um, that you will need for that. Electrolytes is an interesting one. Yeah, you can overdo it, uh, but the body's pretty good at balancing electrolytes, uh, especially if you, you know, can continue to keep drinking water. It will level out, um, and if you're deficient in, in minerals, it'll take them from the, where it can find them in the body. This can be a concern because if you're deficient in calcium, um, then the body will, it will excrete it or magnesium excrete it from your bones, um, and then that causes you know, osteoporosis or, or, or brain uh, bone frailty uh, so getting enough electrolytes just to survive is one thing getting enough electrolytes to perform at, at a higher level in terms of recovery performance in the gym etc is a different mm -hmm. amount um, so we've put you know a few electrolytes into the amino switch sure but we have a heavier load of electrolytes in the keto switch because we've attached the BHB, which is the exogenous ketones, to calcium, magnesium, and sodium. Um, so we're going to be able to get some, uh, you know, heavier dose of electrolytes through that. And then we finish and round out the electrolyte piece with um, the adrenal switch, where we have extra magnesium in there and zinc. Um, so zinc and magnesium just work really well together. They're best mates. They help with sleep recovery restoration um so you know having them in a combination which is often referred to as zma or zinc magnesium aspartate um is in the adrenal switch and that makes an amazing difference uh to that formula so segueing into adrenal switch which is absolutely my favorite product um Me too. And, and, and i've been formulating supplements now for close to 20 years and i'll tell you what i've never been as proud as i have when i created adrenal switch uh, and not just because of the results i personally get but for those that keep coming back to me like we get messages after messages on keto i would get almost 10 to 1 adrenal to anything else um and you know which is saying a lot because you know keto switch messages are, are flooding in the the inbox quite regularly so adrenal switch will change your life adrenal switch yeah. um it lowers stress it lowers anxiety it lowers the impact it has on your body and cortisol's damaging effects on muscle breakdown and fat storage so you will build muscle quicker you will lean out faster but at the same time you'll sleep better you'll have more energy through the day you'll wake up with more energy um, you know, so it's just the, the most magnificent product for, you know, vitality, um, recovery, hormone balance, health, wellness. It's just, I don't even know what else to say about it. It is everything in one and it tastes amazing. Like it's one of the those chocolate. shut up and take my money moments. Oh, I know, right? Um, <laughs> so here's a, funny, here's a funny story. We, we created the, well, I personally created the um, adrenal switch to pair up really well with the amino switch. So the flavors lend themselves to the flavors of the amino switch. They're fruity flavors and all that. And I yeah. said, you know, what I really want people doing is drinking amino switch intra-workout and then mixing their amino with their adrenal after their workout for recovery. Uh, and then oh, yeah. people, exactly. Yeah. And then people started proxying in the adrenal switch as a nighttime sleep formula because they noticed that once they got their cortisol down, they were able to get to sleep and stay asleep and actually re wake up feeling amazing. So that stopped being just a post-workout recovery you know, formula to being both a post-workout recovery and a sleep formula, which was crazy because I'd already trademarked the name off switch and I was going to bring out a sleep formula, but I don't need to now because, you know, adrenal switch is kind of proxied in there. Um, so that was all cool and everything. But then I had people coming back saying, hey, I still have my whey protein shake after my workout. Can I have my adrenal switch with it? And I was like, of course you can, but lemonade, chocolate, protein shake might be a bit weird. So I decided that I was going to make a chocolate adrenal switch um, after a profound moment where I was sitting at home and I had the lemon adrenal switch hot. It was winter 
and I had mixed the lemon adrenal switch up hot and I was gr I'd grated some ginger into it. So it was like a lemon ginger tea. And I was sitting there with Nicole, my wife on the couch. We we're both sipping our lemon ginger hot adrenal tea before we went to bed. And I looked over at her and I said, you know what? This would be so good if it was a hot chocolate. Um, and it was one of those moments where I went, holy shit. Like, I have to make a chocolate adrenal switch because not only will I have a hot chocolate in winter to help me sleep and recover and feel amazing, but people will be able to add that to their whey protein shake after their workout, which has now become an almost cult movement. People are adding adrenal switch into their post-workout and feeling amazing. So that's pretty cool. Um, so you can do that. Another thing you can do, which is really amazing, and I don't know, uh, Miriam, if you've tried this yet, but mixing the chocolate adrenal into some coconut yogurt and making a chocolate adrenal mousse is ridiculous. Wow. Like, seriously, if you Every have not tried night. that... Oh, you do that? For bed. No, no, no. I, ha I make milk kefir. Oh, nice. So I have um, my drink every morning, um, my milk kefir. You don't need it twice a day, but I love it so much that I do. My gut loves it, all the rest of it. So yep. at night, Good probiotic. Yep. Uh -huh, I get my this much <laughs> and I stir in my chocolate. Oh, adrenal, And it's honestly just like a chocolate sweet, desserty, milkshake, milkshake. yogurty yep. kind of, you know, milkshake thing that just, you don't need dessert. We don't even eat dessert anymore. No. Um, Chris, my other half, was putting in um, the uh, black currant apple one, I think yep, it is. Yep, like a ripe that, that used to be mine. That was mine. And then, you know, the big ones came out and I was like, oh, I'm just going to get some of these chocolate ones in. And the chocolate came out. I'm like, it's not very nice. And I don't let anyone touch the chocolate now. It's mine. <laughs> well know, played. Listening. So I might lose it now. But he mixes his berry flavoured one into his kefir as well. And he's like, tastes like bubble gum. Like, oh, oh, it would too. Yeah, that'd be so killer. It's honestly like a dessert for us. So you don't need sweets anymore. If you have that with your whatever, you know, yogurt or your milk kefir before bed. Oh, look, I've, I've got, I, I want to say, I've got six blocks of, of dark lint chocolate, and I'm a bit of a chocolate fan, uh, <laughs> sitting in the cupboard right now that haven't been touched for, for close to two or three months, uh, yeah. because I have this chocolate mousse before bed now, and if I forget yeah. to make that, I'll just have it quickly as a chocolate, a cold, like iced chocolate or a hot chocolate, yeah. and it's amazing. That's um, exactly what uh, I do. And uh, we've got all these recipes on our website too, guys. So if you head over to switchnutrition.com.au, there's a recipes page. And we've got not only food recipes, but also supplement recipes there as well. Another one is a chocolate and ice cream. And that's really easy to make. Um, you can use a bit of coconut uh, milk and uh, frozen bananas, chocolate adrenal switch, blend it up in the blender, and you've got yourself an ice cream texture that's just like a chocolate banana ice cream. So amazing. So have that after your workout and before bed. So let's, let's just cycle back to how do we sort of bring these supplements into the combinations that's not too overwhelming. So number one, before a workout, the two supplements that I would recommend would be Keto Switch and, and um, Thermal Switch. So they can work really well together for fat loss, energy, focus, alertness, motivation, determination, physical performance and mental performance, reduce yep. inflammation and just get your body burning fat for fuel. Um, we've lost Miriam. She's done a runner. Um, and the supplement I'm, that I I'm would doing use... the, the be a little presenter person. Oh, well done. Yeah, I don't have them here in my office. They're all in my kitchen. I um, put them everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a good thing. So if anyone needs any supplements, hit up Miriam. She's got them all. Um, so those two together, that's your keto and your thermal. Intra-workout, I tend to drink my amino switch, which Miriam's off to grab. Uh, so the orange tub, which is your amino switch intra. And then post-workout, you combine the orange one, which is the – here, got Maybe. the big M on it. I love it. Do not it's touch the, his mind. <laughs> it's got the big M. Um, so you've got your, uh, your orange amino during and then your blue adrenal with your orange amino after, okay? So those two combine after. If you're training in the morning, you can have a second serve of the adrenal at night. Uh, you don't have to, but it will definitely help you sleep. So adrenal is post-workout recovery. Adrenal is also before bed sleep, okay? Uh, so, yeah, do you have after pay? Um, I do. Look at that. Sure do. Um, I'm just trying to get a little bit more light into this office that's not distracting. There we go. Um, so that's kind of it from me. I, I guess you guys now know 
the ethos behind the brand that is Switch Nutrition. You know, we're here to help, not harm. We're here to give you products that will work uh, at efficacy levels that is open label, all Australian made. We're a local Queensland, well, Sunshine Coast, um, you know, brand. We're really trying to help support local businesses, including, um, you know, Miriam and, and her uh, mob, which is you guys. Um, so, you know, we really appreciate your support. Uh, when you're buying Switch Nutrition, not only are you going to benefit your own health and wellness and performance results, but you're also benefiting the lives of, of local Australians as well, which is kind of cool. Uh, it's not just going offshore to some major international brand that's owned yeah. by you know uh, different shares around the world. So um, yeah. it makes a difference. We're here to try and make a difference, and we're pleased to be able to partner with Miriam, who is definitely making a difference. So um, <laughs> that's that's kind of it for me. Miriam, do you have anything else you want to wrap up with, or any other um, tips or tricks? No, no, not really. You you have covered everything superbly <laughs> as always. Um, your knowledge is just incredible. I would do anything to just have a little piece of your brain <laughs> <laughs> that yeah, sounded you're, like you're, uh, with, with, with fava beans like you know what's the what's that <laughs> yeah. um you know uh movie that we oh, forget the guy's name need more ketones is what i need yeah. um <laughs> but yeah no i know where you're going uh, but look, uh, guys, there's plenty of information on our website. So if you do want to further educate yourself, uh, you know, jump on our website. Uh, every week I release a new blog. Sign up to our newsletter um, and keep supporting Miriam and getting the products from her. She has fantastic pricing. I've made sure of that. She has access to all of these products on a regular basis. So put your orders in. Make sure that you, know, you get hold of the new thermal. You're going to love it. Like combine yeah. that thermal with your keto, the mood enhancement, the energy, the focus, the motivation, determination and drive. I had thermal and keto this morning and I tell you what, you're on cloud nine. You'll feel amazing and you'll get shit done, which is pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so get absolutely. them all with, uh, with Miriam. I'm sure that you can you know, message her directly or um, just write yeah. your orders below in the comments and uh, yeah, just, you know, just she one, has one thing, I am running very low on stock at the Hannibal moment because Lecter. I haven't ordered since coming back from um, my four-week trip, trip in a van around. Four weeks? You were away for like a half a year. What are you talking <laughs> oh, about? I that. I know. I know. It did to so me too. I was like, know, man, I was so people envious. ordering. So I've sent, yeah. I've sent lots of stuff off. So I'm running really low. So if you go onto my e-store at the moment, it's going to be like out of stock, out of stock, out of stock. So what I thought I'd do is wait until tonight, see what everybody wants. I'll add that on top of the other order that I'm going to be putting through and just put through a big one um, and get it all sent in and um, then I'll send it off as soon as I can. So, so just to um, further further to that, our shipping location is now down in Melbourne. So uh, bear with us. After Miriam places her order, get your order, orders in as soon as you can because once she places the orders, it's generally a two to three working day turnaround. Um, so, yeah, uh, try and get your orders into Miriam as soon as you possibly can. Uh, to ensure yep. that we can get it out the door up here to her and she can get it on to you. Yeah. So just let me know what you want. You can inbox me or in the comments um, if you need anything. Don't actually go through and try and order it on my Easter at the moment because it won't be in stock. So if you just let me know what you need, I'll put the big order through um, and when it comes back, I can go and tweak little things on the website that makes it appear in stock and um, we, can, we can get it via Afterpay that way. Cool. Well, guys, thank you for joining us. Um, I hope you got some great uh, information and content out of this. Um, thanks again, Miriam, for all of your support and obviously the support you're providing to your clients. It's a you know, next level. So, um, you know, I, I wish you all the best. I'd love for you guys to join us on our journey over at Switch Nutrition on our socials, uh, Instagram, Facebook. Um, you know, jump on and get some content that you want from our website. We're, we're pumping it out there for you guys. So uh, enjoy your supplements. Enjoy getting results. And uh, thanks for your time. Excellent. Thank you so much. And um, I'll be chatting to you very soon. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Tomorrow. <laughs> See yes. you guys. All right. Thanks. See you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.